Hi guys, I'm Brad Hoare. I'm um, a dual Olympian and dual Commonwealth Games representative for Australia. I'm the 23rd Indigenous known Olympian out of 52 at the moment. I started boxing at the age of 10. There's one thing that I could say to uh, any young kid out there is, is to dream big, set your goals high, keep chipping away at it and um, I'm sure you'll get there and you know, hopefully one day you'll be able to make the Olympic Games like I have. As a young athlete, when I first went to the boxing gym, um, respect was always a big one. You know, you've got to respect your coach, you've got to be on time, and it was always a big thing for me. Another thing was uh, it taught me a lot of confidence. I started playing football at a young age, and I wasn't able to tackle the bigger guys because I had no confidence in myself. So I went to boxing to build that confidence, and who would have thought they would have come out and been a dual Olympian, a dual Commonwealth Games representative, just from, from something that I went there to build up my confidence to play football. And three, it, it'd have to be, you know, how hungry you want it. You've got to set little targets for yourself, and you just got to tick them off. And like one thing that I always say is, you know, let all these negative people or comments boost you up to achieve your goals so you can prove them wrong. And that's one big believer that I've always done. I hate people tell me that I can't do it and I'll go out and, and prove them wrong. It's not just because of me, but I just love doing it and just say, hey, I just did it. Anyone can do it. So they're probably the big three things that I'd, I'd always look back on and I tell younger kids to, you know, take them things and, and the dream big and and it's okay to fail. You can come back and prove them wrong. No matter how you do it, you can, and how long it's going to take you, you can do it. Yeah, of course it does. A good person who I really look up to and who's really united the, um, you know, indigenous culture and Torres Strait Islander culture is Rob De Costello. Some of the stuff that that guy is doing with his uh, Indigenous Marathon Foundation, he gets all these young indigenous community members to come join him at a run around Uluru, and it unites everyone. We um, get to sit down and you get to listen to so many touching stories, but it builds people together and we all help each other push through the run or whatever challenges we have for us. Just to stop the fighting around and if we all can get along and just see how better we can move forward and, and help the world out, I think that would be, be something that I'd like to change if I could. But there's a long way to go for that. And, you know, the Olympics does this. And that's, that's something good. It's only every four years, but the Olympic gets everyone together where we just concentrate for two weeks where there's no garbage behind the scenes. With the Olympics coming up, let's hope we can all empower together and, and move forward with that.